Hi guys, this is Night Elite. This is part three of my LTN and Vanilla series, and in this one I'm adding the depot. So let's start it up and see what happens. So we've got some logic here that is a dictionary, and um, this scans through every item in the game. So you see here it's outputting copper, now it's outputting iron, and now it's outputting copper plate, and now it's scanning again. And it's going to keep doing that up until it uh, gets back to one of the items that it's being requested. So you can see three iron plate and two copper ore is what's left. So it's going to keep scanning until it gets back to copper ore. And there it goes. It dispatches another train to get copper ore. And then another one to get iron plate. And then it's going to scan again until it finds another matching item. So this circuit here is the dictionary. These combinators encode um, every item in the game with a number attached to it. So starting out here with 42 for water and 249 for a rocket silo. And this, this uh, block comes from an existing blueprint. I didn't do this myself. And since I didn't want to include all of these various signals, I'm just subtracting 40 from everything to get rid of all of the earlier ones and start at the actually relevant items. And then that, this part here is uh, is calculating what items need to be requested or need to have trains dispatched for them. This chunk is the logic that actually deals with dispatching the trains. Uh, this chunk here decides whether the train in the current lane of the stacker is empty or has something in it, and the next chunk advances the counter to skip empty lanes. And then each stop needs a few combinators here to output its stuff only if it's the currently selected stacker. So that's it. So we see now it's it's finished its thing. And it went five times this way and three times this way. And why did it do that? Because if we ignore everything with 65k here, since those are meant to be requests and I haven't added support for those yet, uh, we've got three iron plates and two copper ore on this side, which is our five. And over here we have one iron plate one copper plate and one copper ore, which is our three. And one of the other cool things about this is that the blueprint for the stacker is tileable. You just have to overlap it here, and boom, it's now good to go. And if we start it up again, uh, as soon as it gets to the right item, it will dispatch the trains, and you'll see that the new lane will be immediately active. And here you see that one of the inactive lanes was up, or empty lanes, and then it automatically ticks over to one of the full ones. I, mean, I think that's it, so I'll be back next time with the slightly upgraded version of the depot, which will su add support for requesters as well as providers, and uh, so full trains will be dispatched to drop-off stations, and empty trains will be dispatched to pick-up stations, instead of just the empty trains in the current version. Thanks for watching.